Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading for April 22nd through the 28th. I'm going to be taking a look at your immediate past, present, future, pulling some advice for you as well as the outcome. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your immediate future. Roles can be reversed, so take what applies to you, the person on your mind, your situation, and leave the rest. And so at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Show me Sagittarius, please. Okay. So in your immediate past, we have the two of wands and it came out in a 50, 50 energy, which there tells me that there was an indecision, couldn't make up your mind about something or someone couldn't make up their mind, maybe about how they wanted to make money or, you know, being in a committed relationship or are they in the right place in their life moving forward? Um, so I get a multitude of different things. Now that indecision has changed, of course, because moving forward. Okay. So we have the two of wands. Um, moving forward, we have the king of wands and everything's going amazing. There couldn't be a better time than now for you to act upon the things that are creating success in your life and pushing you towards motivation. Some of you, it's motivational speaking or just being the center stage. Um, also, I love the energy where you are taking care of yourself, your health and, you know, kindness all around what you give out in the world. It's coming back to you as well. Some of you could be dealing with a king of wands where you have someone who is really giving you the time and attention and chasing after you, meaning that they're like, heck yeah, I like you, Sagittarius. I really do. And they're really about you. They want to share their experiences with you. They want to hear about yours. They want to involve you in making memories of, you know, having fun. But I also see you on the go. Like you are really, really taking care of yourself and you look great. Like you look amazing. Look at this. I love this for you. You are really shining. <laughs> So coming up in your immediate future, we do have the six of pentacles coming out. So expect a gift of exchange here. Now, this is someone wanting to offer you a gift or hand you something, maybe a bonus here. It could be trying to make things equal um, with one another. I like that. Um, just saying, here's a little extra for you. I love this for you. It looks so good. So we have the 10 of wands that comes out as your advice. So this it's going to be hard work. Um, not only that, there's something that creates like a heaviness and it can be from the outcome of this seven of swords. Someone is being deceitful and I don't see this as you be careful and cautious of people who want to lie, steal, cheat, or just be around you and Oh, there's somebody deceptive, but everything else looks good. It's like people want to be around you and then they'll go talk about you. You know, I'm not saying that's what I see in your reading, but you know what I mean? It's like people will, oh my gosh, you're doing so great. And when you walk away, they're like, Psh. they think they're all that. Well, you know, you can't help it. <laughs> You can't help that you're taking care of yourself and somebody else doesn't want to, and they envy you in some way. But yes, be careful also of uh, any gift that comes with an expectation. I am seeing that in your reading. So um, let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with this two of wands in your immediate past. So 
somebody was at an end. This just does not feel like your energy here. No, it's not. It doesn't feel like it. If it is, okay. But it doesn't feel like your energy. It feels like you were dealing with somebody who could not make a choice in the past and they were really guarded um, with giving you an answer to something and they wanted to stay single. They wanted to do their own thing. And so they decided to walk away. And it just, you know, you had to go through this healing or you walked away because this person could not give you a decision and not I understand. So we have the seven of wands, the nine of pentacles, and then the eight of cups. And if you were the one that walked away as well, Sagittarius, it's after somebody would not make a choice. They would not talk to you about something and you were hopeful that things were going to change, but because of their stubbornness and them being defensive with you, guarded, like, no, um, you're like, fine, then I'm just going to do my own thing. I'm pretty independent. Watch me walk away because I'm not coming back. And leading into that healing process, the star moving forward, in your destination and eye on the prize and focused on where you're going. That King of Wands in your current situation just looks so good. And it tells me that this person, oh, it really tells me that that Seven of Swords right there is that person that's like, oh, maybe I should have talked to Sagittarius and told them. Oh yeah, you have a lot of love around you. You have people looking at you. We have the Nine of Cups, the World card. Some of you are online dating or traveling places, meeting new people. Oh, this is so good. Oh yeah. So we have the Nine of Cups, the World card, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. And I really love this for you because you look amazing. You have so much love surrounding you. You are traveling places. You are online being seen. Um, there's definitely, you know, you feel like you're in your element here. And that Wheel of Fortune is telling me like everything is going so good for you. You have this effortless abundance pouring into your life. And not only that blessing, that are just showing up and it's like dang things just keep getting better and better three of cups at the bottom of the deck is telling me some of you are like dating meeting new people just collaborating with new people and you know there's just so many people that keep asking you out or want to go and hang out with you and want to be around you and it's really showing you that your time is more valuable than this person from the past treated you where they were so defensive and um, indecisive and couldn't make a decision you walking away and breaking that cycle only led you to something better. So let's go ahead and clarify that six of pentacles for your immediate future. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I see you got a couple of people here, one that's like slow moving and, and, and pretty loyal to the process. The other one loves to just share their feelings like you're so hot, you're so cute, you're this, you're that, the other. I'm also seeing, I'm going to tell you, be completely honest, I even see the past person, I, there's no spy card coming out, but watching you in some way feeling that you're doing better without them because you're not reaching out to them. You're not trying to get them back or anything like that. You're done playing their games. And so I see them wanting to offer you some gift of an apology to fix things, work together with you, figure out how you two can make things work. And they have a, like they try and send you a message and it takes a lot for them to send you that message with that 10 of wands at the bottom of the deck. So we have the page of cups, three of pentacles, and also the page of pentacles. And also I, like I said, I see you have a couple of people that really want to offer you their time. Somebody's like, I have a crush on you. I always have. And they're very open with their heart and really recognizing you. The other person is like, yeah, Hey, how's it going? And that person's trying to play the friend game, but they're not, they really want more. Um, I see that you have a lot on your plate because <laughs> You have a lot of decisions when it comes to love and what you want. And I love this for you. It just looks so good. Let's go ahead and clarify that 10 of wands. Also, I do see with that six of pentacles, like getting a gift of um, financial abundance as well. And that comes in the form of what inspires you that you love so much and putting that effort and quality into your work is really showing that people are recognizing you, wanting to be around you more, wanting to offer you these gifts and things just keep improving. And also that page of pentacles, it's like, you know what? I want to know how to to make more of this. How do I get more of this? Um, so it's it's a beautiful energy. 
So the Ten of Wands in your advice is clarified by the Tower, Temperance, and the Six of Pentacles, Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So your advice is saying this is a lot of hard work here. There is a disruption. It's a huge change, but it's like it's life altering, but it brings also alchemy into your life and balance and equality and equal give and take. And your focus is so strong on it. I also see that the heaviness coming out in your advice that you're carrying here is because there's this shocking, like what? I, I wasn't even thinking about this person, but it's because this person from your past that wouldn't give you a decision is now coming back around to offer you some kind of gift and they rush in so fast, but they better prepare for a fight, meaning that when they show up, you're not going to play nicey nice with them. I don't see you doing that. You're going to tell them off because this knight of swords is someone who is ready to go into battle. Like psh, here I am, you know, I don't need a strategy. I'm just going to tell you how it is. I'm just, this is it. So, you know, them sh shocked by this person coming around after all this time too, and wanting to fix things. That just, it's like, you have a lot that you've been carrying around that you want to tell them, like, how dare you? Or why, why now? What makes you come back now? So let's go ahead and clarify that seven of swords if everything continues the way that it's going. So this per, yeah, there they are. Yeah. Okay. They're the ones. So the shoes on the other foot, right? It's like tables have turned here. And that's what happens whenever someone doesn't give you a decision in the past and they think that they have the ability to come back and you're going to accept them in your life and take them back after the fact that you gave them a choice in the past. You told them to talk to you. You told them, you know, it's either this or that. They were guarded. So you said, all right, bye, peace. Um, well, they come back, they show up that person that lied to you, stole from you, cheated you just of your time that juggled you comes back wanting a relationship because why you're doing good and you have a lot to offer financially, or like you're just doing good without them. And they're going to try and use all the past memories of like, you remember whenever we had a good time doing this, that, and the other, yeah, no, you're not about that. So I see you not trusting this person. You feel that your life is really balanced. You like where things are going. That's great. We have the memories, but that's all they are. And now they'll have the memory of the heartbreak that, you know, you felt like, you know, you should have made that decision when you had the opportunity to do so. So they end up feeling, whoops, that they're losing out, but it just took them a long time to get there or sometime. I'll say sometime because they should have made a decision whenever you asked them, when you talked to them and said, I need to know what's going on. So let's go ahead and get some messages for you. Ooh, I love this for you. Also, do not, I'm going to say it like this. You're also dealing, if things continue the way that they're going, there is someone else that is new that is still juggling uh, their past. And that person has a family with someone. They have kids with someone. So they might tell you that they're over their ex or like their ex is non-existent. But if they talk about their ex, they're not over them. Okay. And anybody, that's the other thing, Sagittarius, anybody that's going to talk about their ex and be like, yeah, they did this, that, and the other to me. Guess what? When they do that, what are they going to say about you if you become an ex? You know what I mean? It's like you, even if you feel a certain way about your ex, you don't go share it with a stranger that you're trying to attract into your life in a relationship. <laughs> Maybe later on, you can talk about that when y'all are more established as this is my soulmate, my friend, you know, whatever. And they know me, um, but not in the beginning. And whoever this is does that they're juggling between you and an ex and that they're not over, um, and that they still talk to. So just be careful of that because some people do lie and cheat and deceive or hold on to things that they can't let go of. And it just, it's like, what? I don't need my time wasted. I know how you feel. So infinite abundance, abundance is pouring into your life. And there are a lot of people. If you notice in this Oracle message right here, there are a lot of people. There's two people, actually three people helping out to get all the fruit that is ready and ripe for the picking. There's also a couple more in the background. So it's like you have people wanting to offer their time to you. They want to be around you. Wondrous universe, walk in beauty. And that is absolutely what you are 
are doing. You are on this path of this is my destiny. This is where I'm going. I'm embracing the next chapter of my life and this feels amazing. I love the love for you. It looks so good. So protected by angels, you are cherished by the angels. So, you know, always trust your intuition. And when something doesn't feel right with somebody as well, uh, it's okay to back off, take the time to decide, is this for me? Why am I feeling this way? You know, and if it just doesn't feel good with someone, that is your angels protecting you saying, hey, this just isn't good. There's something you don't see, but I see it, you know? So fogged in, go slow, take time. There's no rush. And I love this for you because it's saying, you know, enjoy everything that's coming to you. Um, but also you don't have to go so fast. You can go slow. You can take your time. You don't have to overextend yourself. Um, I love this. You got a lot of love all around you. It's so beautiful. I love it. All right, Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.